What's happening in the world? It's March 13th, 2023. My name's Reagan, or Geralt of Riviera. Also the Doom Wizard. Pick your poison. And today we have some crisis going on in the world. Indeed. Bank fallouts. Uh, phosphorus shortages potentially. Um, you know, just the usual complete insanity going on in the world. Everyone has their own reality. We don't follow truth, data, or evidence anymore. You can just construct your own opinion on literally anything, um, and there you go. Then we enter a hellacious world. But really, it's overshoot. And the real problem is civilization's a heat engine, no matter how you power it. So we can keep our political squabbles tit for tat to the side for now. Let's just get into the news. Biden did approve the Willow Project for drilling in Alaska, even though he claims that the climate crisis is one of our most pressing issues, um, along with the energy secretary claiming that climate change was an existential threat. Existential threat, indeed. Indeed, she was correct in saying that, um, but it is business as usual. And meanwhile, the Pope gets praised for his environmental and woke values while meanwhile not following traditionalist views or dogma, we would call that. Um, and uh, G, President Xi is set to be reelected for his third term where he vows to contain the Taiwan independence in some form or manner. Meanwhile, they want to become in, uh, technologically independent while Putin plans a visit next week. Biden's talking about the bank fallouts today. People are barely affording groceries and food for their children going to school. Wow, what a great system. But before we go any further, I just want to clarify that we did get out of the dark ages. We did go through a period called the Enlightenment, where we understood truth and reason, used data and evidence. We, we, we made up the scientific method so we can prove that I'm holding up four fingers, that the sky appears blue, that you don't stick your hand in a boiling hot cauldron of oil, or some other medieval practice to wish evil spirits away. No, we became a little bit wiser of apes because of that, but not wise enough because we're back in the Dark Ages. Okay? We're back here. China may have developed hypersonic weapons against the US. Perhaps they've already tested them. But we make enough money, right? The highest GDPs in the United States New York tops it with two trillion, can't really beat that. Runner up, Washington, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, among other places. Where I'm from, Dallas, Fort Worth, is home to 19 Fortune 500 companies, including ExxonMobil and Southwest Airlines. But let's make sure we're all on the same page. Like I said, we believe in, you believe in higher education, or at least being educated about something, and cross-referencing, making sure you know, your facts line up? Well, let's make sure we're right here. More than 99.9% .9 of studies agree that human-caused climate change. I'm reading this for the fourth time because there are apparently some really stupid people uh, paying attention to my channel. Um, more than 99.9% .9 of peer-reviewed scientific papers agree. By the way, this is from the Cornell University. If you can point me to a university that has higher credentials or more edu that is more in line with studying with data, you know, in facts, please point me in that direction, but I'm just going to stick with Cornell. Um, agree that climate change is mainly caused by humans. According to a new survey of 88,125 climate-related studies, quote, we are virtually certain that the consensus is well over 99% now, and that it's pretty much case closed for any meaningful public conversation about the reality of human-caused climate change, says Mark Linus, a visiting, visiting fellow. Yep, it's critical to acknowledge this, but we're going to try our best to stop weeds as they sprout up, I guess, and pass out more money. Janet Yellen says, we'll just make more money. Not our taxpayer money will bail out Silicon Valley Bank and other affiliated banks, but just some random money out of thin air. Yeah. The U.S. government took extraordinary steps Sunday to stop a potential banking crisis after the historic fa failure of Silicon Valley Bank, assuring all depositors at the failed institution that they could access all their money quickly even as another major bank was set to shut down. This is a crisis. 
Did I mention China deploys a hypersonic missile? Russia have, has already done so against Ukraine. And um, yeah, tensions, this is not your parents' Cold War. This is tensions beyond the scope of imagination we've ever been in before. I think it's one of the most tense moments in history. Okay, North Korea is as sending ICBMs, they're testing missiles from nuclear submarines while we're hold the South Korea and US is holding joint military drills. This is going on, guys. This is going on. Meanwhile, meanwhile, catfight in the Himalayas, tiger leopards and ventures venture into snow leopard land. Warming climate threatens to push Nepal's three big cat, cat species, tigers, leopards, and snow leopards into closer proximity with each other. Both tigers and leopards have been observed, like my hand gestures, at elevations above 9,800 feet, well within the snow leopard territory, and snow leopards are moving uphill even with limited room to move into. But it's okay. Climate change isn't real. There isn't 99.9% .9 consistent consensus on this happening. Because I'm a dumb idiot. And I can't count to five. Okay, it's okay. Marine heat waves are sweeping the seafloor across around North America. Heat waves unfolding in the bottom of oceans can become more intense and last longer than those on the, new, on the sea surface, new research, research suggests. But such extremes in the deep ocean are often overlooked, causing massive disturbances. Where does all the carbon emissions come from? Let's look at it by country from Earth sky. We can see America and China pumping out over 3 billion metric tons of CO2 a year in addition to the Willow Project and us all this other uh, commercial lifestyle we have going on. Isn't it great just going to the store and picking any kind of fruit and vegetable you want? Getting the meat? Getting the meat sauce. Whoosh. Into the void we go. Into the void we go. Let's go through climate and economy, because that's what you guys really want to know, right? 13th, let's round it up. Regulators shut down New York-based Signature, a big lender in the crypto industry. Uh, Biden administration scrambled to prevent financial contagion from the crash of Silicon Valley. Half-point hike looks less likely as financial risks flare. One trillion. One trillion. Lost to inflation. That's as much as what New York's GDP. Um... Consumer resilience has reached breaking point. Inflation is hurting American consumers and the retailers that depend on their spending power far more than anyone knew. Whether inflation goes up, down, or sideways, it has eaten a big hole in American consumer pockets with little to show for it. <sighs> Hard to focus. Schools say American kids are hungry. Meanwhile, billionaires fly around the planet on planes. Man, we really got this system together, right? Congress temporarily made school meals free to all American school kids, but since that ended last fall, the need has only seemed to grow. But three trillion towards an Iraq war that accomplished nothing, that seemed like a good investment, a way to save our money, you know, for the kids. Yep, soaring food prices are adding strains on families who are seeing reductions in multiple kinds of financial assistance. Cost of living crisis sees some people considering suicide in the UK. Dutch farmers and climate activists stage protests in Hague. Thousands of tons of garbage pile up across the streets of the front capital after a week of strike action by dustbin collectors against the government pension reforms. More protests. Fukushima disaster. I know someone here that's thrilled about this news. Japan marks 12 years since the deadly tsunami as support grows for nuclear power. Xi vows to oppose Taiwan pro-independence influences as third term begins. U.S. allies prepare for a mega submarine deal under the AUKUS agreement for Australia and Britain. Um, Peru's Andes scars of protest death cuts says deep families deep as families seek justice. Peru, home to some 35 million people, huge copper reserves, uh, is grappling to restore stability after months of anti-government protests and clashes that have left 49 people dead. What a tragedy. The world is imploding. Our planet faces phosphogeddon, scientists have warned. They fear our misuse of phosphorus could lead to deadly shortages of fertilizers that would disrupt global food production. At the same time, phosphate fertilizer washed from fields together with sewage inputs into rivers, lakes, and seas is giving rise to widespread algae blooms and creating aquatic dead zones that threaten fish stocks. Saudi's M Aramco $161 billion profit is the largest recorded by an oil and gas farm. $161 billion of profit for 2022. Okay. 
Can we double take on that? How much money do you have in your savings account? Right. Yet we need more oil and gas investment. Despite high oil prices sending energy company profits soaring over the last year, little of those profits have been reinvested in the oil and gas business. Instead, profiting. Profiting. And we're going ahead with the Willow Project. Two, yeah, two officials said. Yep, the world's imploding. Pretty much any and every way you could screw um, people over is now. This isn't, this isn't your parents' Cold War. This is a full-on uh, detonation device, Earth world-ending events that are unfolding, and we're in the early stages of it. Okay, this is our last stable decade. This has been your March 13th. What's happening in the World Report? Hit that like and subscribe. PayPal donation link below. Your support means a lot. You guys have a good week. Talk to you later.